Okay, hi, Libra. This is your reading for uh, Venus Retrograde, which is going to be from May uh, tomorrow, 13th, until June 25th. Um, There's going to be a reading for Libra Sun Rune Rising. Um, these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you have any feedback or questions or you would like a personal reading, don't feel um, afraid to reach out. Please reach out. Um, and as well, Libra, this retrograde is in Gemini, so it's going to be in your ninth house of uh, higher learning. It's going to be about uh, lessons we learn through life experience, and it's going to be about philosophies in general. Um, also, do be sure to check your chart and see what area of your personal chart that Gemini lands in, because that will give you an even closer um, sort of exclamation or explanation. I know how to speak. Okay, cool. So what is going on for Libra in this Venus retrograde? What's going on for Libra this Venus retrograde 2020? Okay. What's going on for Libra this Venus retrograde? The world and the ace of swords nice full circle come in full circle libra we have the page of cups so you might be receiving some information about uh, some emotional impulses or some someone is going to be coming in and offering you some sort of an offer of love and the ace of cups reversed libra whatever it is is gonna have you feel all kinds of things girl i'm gonna be overwhelmed with the emotions of it um, cute. So let's just go ahead and clarify this page of cups. What is this page of cups all about for Libra for this Venus retrograde? Okay, we have the eight of cups, nine of wands, and judgment. Ooh, so not at all. Um, <laughs> not at all. The beginning of something rather quite the the end of something and the defense of your your growth or your your high ground that you found and like the the drawing of a line in the sand so i feel like perhaps there will be something someone who's coming in to try and communicate with you about something and um instead of you know how, entertaining it you're you're going to be seeing it in a new light you're going to be seeing um the ways that you've grown out of this situation and you're going to be able to look at it and say this is my land in the sand. You cannot cross it. Which is great. I love that for you, Libra. I feel like that decisive energy is really, really great. It's really strong. I really, really love that for you. Um, can we please clarify this Ace of Cups for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Venus retrograde? Wow. That was a lot. Four of Wands reversed and Seven of Cups reversed. Okay, so like pairing back. Bring back is always a nice thing, don't you think? So we have three of cups. Not really sure if that was upright or reversed, but we'll see. Um, five of cups. Eight of pentacles. Maybe you're leaving behind a toxic work situation. Um, the four of swords in the reverse. Ten of cups. Okay, so yeah, there was something that wasn't what you thought it was at one point. Uh, you're thinking about it a lot. And maybe you're calling on your friends in some way to pull you out of this, like, emotional overwhelm. Or I feel like there's, like, a really heavy energy here of, like, you've been thinking about something for a really long time. You've been, um, like crippled by your thoughts about this thing to the point where, you know, you're ready to, to pick up the remaining two cups. That's kind of what I see happening. I feel like there was a lot of, like, you had to work through the details of something. You had to get really, really in the minutia of something. And you're finally at the point where you're ready to let your emotions carry you away from it. I feel like this was... Um, some sort of home situation, some sort of like, I don't, uh, like emotional expectation or some sort of fantasy. Um, 
that you just realized, I mean, you know, you had to walk away from it. You had to say, <laughs> no more, man. I've, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of the the crying. I've had enough of the the anxiety, the overthinking, the, the and the avoidance. Then I'm ready to move on. Cool. That was really quick and dirty. <laughs> but very clear, very clear energy here, Libra. So for you, this energy of like, you've worked really, really hard on getting to a certain point in your growth. You're standing into it. And in, during this retrograde, I feel like there's going to be some things coming back for you to like kind of pick up the pieces with this. This could be like someone who's coming back to try and have conversations with you, or this can even just be you looking back on... Um, on the work that you had to do to get to this point and really getting um, closure about it. Closure. That's your word. That is your word. All right. Wow. Um, cool, Libra. I like how decisive your energy is and I like how decisive this reading went. Thank you for allowing me to channel that for you. I'm going to call on the hush just to see what words of guidance the universe has for you. Nice. Bottom of the cup. Oh, deck is death. See so yeah, how that cycle's ending. Whatever it was that you're walking away from, the universe has got you back. It's done. Yeah, we have ten of swords in the reverse. Five of cups again. The Eight of Pentacles again. And the High Priestess. Baby, listen to your inner voice. This is it. You know what you gotta do. You know that it's time to stop analyzing. It's time to stop working away at something. It's time to, you know, pick up your... Pick up your... Yourself. Pick up your, your joy. Pick up the things that are still keeping you... so beautifully you, you know, look at what remains and, and let all of the grief, the rest of the grief just wash away, just let it go and stand back up into your power. That's really what this is about. This is, you know, I feel like there was a lot of, um, struggle here. I feel like you've come through something where you really, really had to confront some of your own demons um, and maybe some of your expectations, maybe some of the dialogues that you had told yourself up until this point. And I feel like you're finally at the point where you're like, écoute, enough is enough, you know? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not working on this situation anymore. You know, I refuse. I refuse. I'm not going to put work into something that's empty for me anymore. So you're listening to your inner voice. Good for you, Libra. I love that for you. I love that for you. <laughs> Tee hee. Okay. Um, I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. If you need a personal reading, please reach out to me. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Good luck with this retrograde season. I really hope that... Uh, this resonates with you and I will see you in your next reading. Okay.